man, it really sucks that in the Nintendo Direct trailer there weren't any portrait ghosts. I wish that Luigi's Mansion 3 was gonna have portrait ghosts. Oh, you again? Hold on a second, guys. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Oh, okay. Thank you. There are freaking portrait ghosts. Yes, 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 yes. Zach Pack, he's always there for you. Zach Pack, only on YouTube. Zach Pack, what will he do next? Zach Pack, let's find out how it's on with the show. So, hey guys, Zach here coming at you with another video. Yes, guys, Portrait Ghost got confirmed. Yes, I went into this Nintendo Drive not thinking Portrait Ghost were going to return. I did not think that next level games were going to bring Portrait Ghost back. And lo and behold, they did. Let's roll the footage of my initial reaction to Portrait Ghost being confirmed. That is, oh, that is, ooh, whoa, look, hold on, you guys. Getting a look at that ghost, that's definitely a human, actually. That's a human. Hold on. Looking at that, that's a human. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I hope they're not only going to do human ghosts like Portrait Ghost for the big battles. Oh. Hold on, guys. <laughs> that, uh, hold on. Uh, but yeah, that that's def that's a human ghost. That is, that's definitely human. You can see the eyebrows. There are the eyes. There's the nose, mouth, big beard. He's wearing some sort of Viking helmet. Maybe the portrait ghosts or the humanoid ghosts are the big bosses. I might have to draw him actually and like redo him and see if I can make him like you know give him because I c it it kind of looks like. A regular portrait ghost. The skin does look have like a little bit of greenish tint, except it's grow growing. It's glowing orange. So yeah, that's definitely a human ghost. So that's that's interesting. That is really interesting. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. Is this gonna be a new ghost or is it gonna be the same generic yeah, we blue see one? Ghost in the center of this area here. The ghost has a monologue. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sad. Yeah. There's that elevator button that uh, Luigi needs to get somehow uh, in order to progress. Of course, if you could get it this easily, <laughs> it's like we need to put a little bit more work. He's a bright red megaphone. <laughs> He's really obsessed with that. Yeah, if you're a movie director, that, my friends, is what you call a portrait ghost. That's your power over yes. the actors. <laughs> portrait ghosts <laughs> Those cutscenes are so are aggressive. Back. How do you work with Next Level Games on creating those? かなりキャラクターの感情が感情表現がかなり豊かなんですけれども、まあこういった点についてあのネクストレベルゲームさんとどのように作っていかれたんでしょうか。はい。あのそうですね。まあ前作のダークムーンとかそうなんですけど、エ
to our criticisms of Luigi's Mansion 2 and our praises of Luigi's Mansion 2 and have taken them both into account and implemented them into Luigi's Mansion 3. The fact that the rooms are, for the most part, a little bit darker, for the fact that there is more variety in the ghosts, for the fact that there is portrait ghosts, there's going to be no mission structure, they're bringing back the scarescraper. They know what we want and they are doing their damn best to give it to us. So you know what? Even if Luigi's Mansion 3 isn't as good as the original, I will give next level games full credit, full, full, full credit for everything we've seen so far. You know, I'll they, I'll give them full credit. I thank Next Level Games for listening to us, the fans, the ones who are speaking up, the ones who are speaking out about how much we didn't really like Luigi's Mansion 2 and how much how much we want changed, and the fact that they are going about and doing most of those changes. Honestly, guys, I couldn't I, I couldn't be more happy. So the fact that they're doing this much, even if I don't like the game as much as Luigi's Mansion 1, I will still give it the benefit of the doubt, and I will still at least praise the game. For what it tried to be but anyways guys today we're gonna to be talking about the portrait ghosts that we have seen in this uh well not i can't say really the direct trailer but i mean over the whole thing the whole event i saw a total of four maybe five portrait ghosts and one of the people who was leading who what i think his name is bryce the guy who's like the head of next level games or whatever he is um he said that there are going to be a few dozen so i'm gonna i'm gonna go on a limb and say at least 30 that's what I'm going to say, at least 30. And uh, a few dozen, like adding that up would be 36, but I'm gonna be a little more moderate and say at least 30. Um, but, um, so let's get into what five portrait ghosts we have seen thus far. The first one, and this was kind of a guess that this is a portrait ghost, because we don't really know much about it, is the cop ghost. The cop ghost we saw in the trailer, I'm gonna presume that that's a portrait ghost, um, simply because it has a little more human features than the other ones, it has a nose, you know, it, it, it just looks a little more like a, like what I think a portrait ghost would be. And honestly, I really like the design of him. He looks really cool. I like him with the shades and everything. Um, the thing is, I am kind of envisioning what his battle might be. And I think he's going to be an interesting one to fight. I think he might even be later in the game because he seems like he might be hard. Because if you look in the shot, he has a water pistol, which makes me think that Guigi won't be of any use because he'll just shoot the water gun and Luigi and Guigi will dissolve So I don't think that Guigi will be any help in this boss fight um, And he's also wearing shades so the strobo might not work against him So I'm really curious to see what they do with his boss fight and Honestly, I'm really really excited seeing you know, like, like I said these portrait ghosts just diving into it, it They look really really cool and um, Yeah, so the cop ghost there's not really much I can say about him, but um, it looks really cool. So if you guys watched my analysis video of the Luigi's Mansion 3 trailer, which you definitely should, um, uh, I had a theory that the bellboy in the background of a certain shot was a portrait ghost, and I actually saw a shot from the, uh, Nintendo, uh, E3 booth with the portrait ghost, that was a bellboy, and I, I was like, oh, so I was right when I did that, when I said that. Um, so... Basically, there's going to be a bellboy portrait ghost, which I wonder, I wonder who thought of that one. <laughs> but in all honesty, guys, there's going to be a bellboy portrait ghost, and he's going to be probably the first portrait ghost you fight. And um, as to how he could work, I have no clue. Um, he could be a really interesting one, because he might be like a typical normal portrait ghost. He's not going to be like a big boss or anything, so I really wonder what you're going to have to do for him. And I'm very excited that this bellboy ghost is going to be a portrait ghost because that's an idea I had. And honestly, I'm really happy that they actually did an idea. Like, obviously, I'm not expecting that they actually, like, set, saw that in my video. and like, oh, that's a good idea. We should do that. But the fact that I was able to kind of, like, think that they could do that, that that's awesome. I'm so happy that a bellboy ghost is going to be an actual ghost. This was an actual, it's just a theory. I'm not sure if this is going to be an actual portrait ghost or a boss or whatever. But the woman that we saw in the foyer of the trailer... Because we got a better, higher definition picture of her, and yeah, she's definitely a ghost. She got yellow eyes, she's a ghost. So, I have a feeling that she's going to be, especially since she got her own independent picture, I think she's going to be a main antagonist, along with King Boo. I think that she's going to be one of the final bosses you fight. She's the owner of this hotel, that's what I'm going at. So, I think that she is going to play a very important role, and that she will serve as kind of one of the portrait ghost big bosses. Kind of like the, uh, the one we're going to talk about next. So next up here we have the Knight Ghost or the King Ghost. Whatever the heck he is in the medieval section. 
So we see quite a bit of him. We see his intro, his inner monologue. We see his boss fight. And I'm recording this on Thursday, June 13th. So I think that when I go and play Luigi's Mansion 3 tomorrow on June 14th, I might actually get to play his boss battle. I'm not quite sure. But nevertheless, um, his boss battle looked really, really interesting. And I'm very happy about it. And I think uh, we don't really need to talk much about him because all kind of stuff explanatory um, about what his boss fight is and what he does. Um, but I really like his design. Um, I like, I prefer his design outside of the night costume because I like just natural ghosts. So seeing him outside of his, sh like, you know, his, uh, armor costume, it looks really, really cool. I love how he looks. I love how he's designed. I love his personality. He looks really, really great. And I try to stay away from his boss fight. So at the moment, I personally do not know how his boss fight looks because I want to save it for tomorrow when I'm probably playing it. So, yeah, so that's the other Portrait Ghost, and uh, he looks really, really cool. He's definitely my second favorite design Portrait Ghost that we've seen. And my first favorite Portrait Ghost is Morty, the movie director. M Morty, I love him. He's the one, I think we really actually did get to see him the most. We definitely got to see a lot of the King Ghost, but they really devoted the Treehouse to defeating Morty in the movie section. And honestly, Morty looks amazing i love this portrait ghost his personality how he likes luigi he's not an enemy of luigi he's like the madame claire voya of the luigi's mansion 3 game and honestly this portrait ghost looks phenomenal i'm absolutely in love with him not literally but his design is great his bot the boss fight is great that he has um he just has he's oozing a personality and next level games just so you know, you nailed him. You absolutely nailed Morty. If there's any Portrait Ghost that I love that you guys nailed, it is definitely Morty. You guys did a great job. Morty looks great. Cannot wait to play with him. Not giggity. Cannot wait to uh, to play with him. That still sounds wrong. In the final game. So that's it for today's video, guys. Portrait Ghosts are back and i could not be any more excited it is awesome to see them back and like like uh bryce said there are a few dozen so at least 30 and we've only seen five technically we've really only seen two in action because we saw the cop we saw the boss lady we saw the bellboy but we didn't really see them in action but we only saw two so that's only a, a 15th of the portrait ghost at minimum so we got a lot in store for this game when it comes to Portrait Ghost, and I am very excited, and I will keep you guys updated on Portrait Ghost and everything Luigi's Mansion 3, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to enter my giveaway. The link will be in the description down below, and until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.